You are the greatest error we have made since 1960. The Northern Youth Attack Tinubu over lopsided appointment. Well, may then take a easy. <laughs> because this is what APC have done to Nigeria. And they should not also forget that it was not Tinubu that started it. Yes, this was not started by Tinubu. What is on grad now is just like uh, it be like say we not understand before say this Nigeria is the one they just the user you no know, the scammers because what the APC don't do now if you are from the north eh a president coming from the north all the all the positions everything we go to the north now they don't come back now Tinubu is from the southwest and now he has you know. Taking all the positions to, you know, to the southwesterners, and this is how he's going to build. We are even thinking that what you know, uh, what what the former president Bola met, uh, please pardon me, Muhammad Buhari did, that Tinubu is going to change it. You know, when somebody do something not right, you will correct it by doing the correct thing. Then by then the person the person conscience go the judge arms. Oh, I did not really do bad uh, do well. But with what Tinubu is doing, this is even what the former president did. Now nah, child's play. Anyway, make we even hear why they are complaining and what they are complaining of. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Northern Youth Leaders Forum, NYLF, has accused President Bola Tinubu of favoring the southern part of the country over the north in his appointment. Addressing journalists in Abiyokuta, the national president of NYLA, Elot Ofio, said President Tinubu had carried out the most lopsided appointment since Nigeria gained independence in 1960. Elot noted that Tinubu has taken the bar of lopsided appointments a notch higher than that of his predecessor, Muhammad Buhari. He urged that Buhari created a lopsided appointments gap of 80.20 for the North and 80 over 20 for the North and the South during his administration. He urged Tinubu to bridge the wending gap as the country must not continue in this great era. His words, since independent, when you look at the appointment by, by Tafowa Balua, you will agree with me that it was 40-60, not South. And subsequent appointment by General Yakubu Gowan was trying to narrow the gap. And even in the democratic setting in 1999, over under the leadership of President Ulishogu Obasanjo, that is why I always say he's my father, because he has a nationalistic thinking. But Wari came in and created a gap to be 2080. And even the Northerners that they were saying that Buhari appointed were not Northerners per se. There were a few clues. The North itself don't benefit from it. But we are now seeing the appointment by President Tinubu as telling towards the Southwest. He narrowed the gap that Buhari created, but the gap he cre is creating now is also widening. I would say Northerners don't have the right to complain that the appointments or placements are lopsided. We don't have the right to complain. But as an advanced citizen, I ask, can we continue like this? We get an Igbo president. He will appoint Igbos. When we are going, where are we going as a nation? So there is a need for us to balance it, he added. Exactly. He just said the truth. You, you understand? He just said the truth. Where are we going as a nation? Where are we going? So if we have, because Buari did it, then Tunubu should do it. 
Then don't so forget that after Tunubu, another person will come. And you will still expect that person to do what Tunubu did. That means Nigeria don't finish with that. They don't scatter the whole structure in this country. They say we are one. Aosa, Igbo, Yoruba are one. So why are we not scattering everything? An Aosa man becomes a president. The government goes to the northerners. Every other person will suffer. Then if, uh, if a southerner a southwesterner becomes the president, the government goes to the southwest and every other regions in Nigeria will suffer. So if an Igbo man or the South South becomes a president as well, this is still going to happen. So there is need to balance this. There is no need to insult him or whatever. He, he agreed that Wari did that. You understand? Wari did that. Wari started it. You see, Tunubu is not lying. You understand? He said that he's going to start from where his president should stop. He said it, and Nigerians held it. He not talk him one, he not talk him. He did talk him. He did talk him every other time. He said it. He's going to continue from Tunubu's template. And that is what he's doing right now. So Nigerians should be, you know, this should not be a kind of shocking. But though we had expected him, because what he said, he even said it that nothing is no nepotism. Nigerians cried about that tribalism and all this and all that is not going to be in his government if eventually he becomes Nigerian president. But we are saying something different now. I beg, make them balance those, this thing. Make them balance this thing. This is not funny anymore. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you.